Otos. Otos, Otos, Otos. They are not fun. Well, okay, no. People find them fun. Okay, so you have your voice bank. Hopefully recorded and all, and all the files are in the same folder, and it's hopefully titled the name of your Utau, and you stuck it in the voice folder of Utau, and now you have something open. You don't need a UST open, I just wanted one open. Okay, so you have everything. So you go to tools, voice, well, wait, let me explain. Project properties, make sure your voice bank is selected. You can either select it from the drop down or do this and it has all your voice banks. I have too many, but anyway. So you have, and so you have your voice bank selected. Okay. So you have everything. Voice bake settings, this is where you actually do the Oto. And let's see, let's select one. And so this is the A. Single vowel. Single vowels are easy. Pink thing. That tells Uto what part to not stretch. So blue thing tells Uto to it can it, 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 uh, it ignores everything in the blue field. So put the blue field up to where your sample actually starts. Put the pink just somewhere. The red line we'll do later because this is a single vowel. The green line is overlap. Overlap, it's like how much it overlaps? Uh, that's not a good explanation. Um, hmm. Explanation for overlap. It's hard to explain without getting all crazy into it. Just how it flows. So like a lot of overlap and it'll be like super, super smooth. But if you like bleh, like a, a ridiculous amount of overlap, then your envelopes get completely screwy, especially if your notes are really short. So yeah, about 50 for single vowels is what I do. A lot of people don't do that, and I have no idea why, because it it sounds good when you do it, because it, it's like, instead of recording all these vowels together, like, I, uh, uh, you can just have your basic vowels overlap, and it actually flows, and it actually sounds like it's flowing. Ah, oh, I love it. Otherwise, you're like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, and it's like, no, why, no, no. Okay. A lot of people also like to put preiterants on their vowels. They're single vowels, and I have no idea why. Um, okay. So, a consonant in a vowel. A ba. Part of the B variety of vowel, or samples. I totally forgot cutoff. Let's look at cutoff, shall we? Go to the end of the sample, drag the blue, and... Not a lot, but like enough so it ignores the whole ah part, because that sounds horrible. Okay. So I remembered everything. Okay. Bah. Okay. The red line is... Consonants are not part of notes. So like, a lot of people are like, why is it my why are my notes dragging? My notes are too short. No, it's just that your oto is wrong. So if you're like if your oto is going bah, or that's what it sounds like or you're like singing it's like nah and it's like ridiculously long consonants then probably your oto is off. So things like ba that have like a pop those are easy because whatever part doesn't look like the rest of the sample that would be the b. And then the overlap goes somewhere in between the blue and the red line. If you put it past the red line, then the note before will go it past the consonant, and so you'll have two notes going at the same time. And no, don't do that. It does not sound good. That's like super slurry. So halfway between, so the, the note before it will go just like about halfway into the consonant. Which, and so it'll flow. And 
we have to remember cutoff. I always forget cutoff because it's at the end of the sample and that's where nothing happens. And then I'm reminded whenever it goes like, ah, and just br br dies randomly. Okay, another B. Bs are fun. Any note that had like sometimes will pop, those are easy to auto. Well, you don't want notes to pop, but like notes that tend to pop, those are easy to auto because it's like it doesn't have a pitch. A B does not have a pitch, so it just it has something random and then the rest of the sample. Okay, um, let's see. Let's actually. One of the really cool things about Utao, if you select a note, I have no idea what that note is. I do not know Hiragana. But if you just select it and then go back in your voice bank settings, it just goes immediately to the note. So if you're like, why is this note weird? You can go and look at your Oto, and it'll tell you why. Oh, this is important. Frequency maps. I'm just going to render them all at once because I like that. Yes. And we wait. This is so much fun. It takes forever. Especially since I'm using FreeSamp to render them all. FreeSamp is my favorite, but it takes absolutely forever to render anything. I, I like to think that's because it's doing a really good job, and then I try and use tips, which goes like ridiculously fast, and it sounds almost just as good. On some. Kind, not so much. He's like... <gasps> But I've been over that. <sighs> and we wait. I would talk to you, but I have no idea who you are. Wave at random people watching this video. <sighs> Bored. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know what I'm humming. <sighs> what else can we do while this is... Can we do anything else in here? Um, no, I don't think we can. It's... Yeah. Eh, let's not touch it, or else it will go blarg and die, and it won't be good. Um, let's see. Oh, 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 um, I'm including a link with this video to, um, Aster's wonderful, wonderful, um, Utau toolkit, because it has, for those of you who don't have, um, Japanese locale, it has a Hiragana to Rumaji, um, UST converter, so USTs like this you can convert to Rumaji, or if you have locale, then it, you can automatically add Hiragana Eliases, which saves so much time. Oh my gosh. But the problem is, if you have a lot of like really weird samples, like I have English R's, which I call 2R, and it doesn't like that, and so it'll just randomly assign a Hiragana to them. And so I have to go and clear all that. And then some of my consonant ya's, like chia and hia and mia and nya, will be just randomly not be right. And so I have to go back in and type it right. Or if there's like no actual hiragana of it, then I just leave it blank. It's confusing. Any day now, you may be done, FreeSamp. I'm going to end up singing that song if this does not hurry up. And you do not want me to sing Magical Nugo Linden. It's, no. I need to stop watching those kind of Lend songs. They're not healthy. <sighs> this is what happens when you have too many samples for your own good. It takes absolutely forever. Oh. Let's look at my Skype. Who's talking to me? Oh, it's just Kitty. 
What the hell is Uta Mafia? Let's talk to Kitty while this tutorial is going. In retrospect, I should not have friended that. That was a bad idea. I did not... I sort of forgot how long exactly it takes. What else can we do while this is rendering? This is actually important, or else I would just be like, screw it and do it later, but... Frequency maps are really important, especially if... Well, I mean, they're not in that important if they're right. I mean... Because Utah will automatically make them if it needs them. But if they're wrong... Oh my gosh. I, I've had to re-render a few because it's like, all of a sudden the note will go like, and I'm like, what the hell? And so then I have to go back in and I'm like, I, the, the, my pitch was not that off when I recorded because the or little orange line will go all over the sample. And I'm like, no, this is, cannot be right. Re-render. And then it's like, magic, it's fixed. It's all straight. It's like, okay. Oh, it's done. Okay. So now that it's done, what were we doing? I don't even remember. Okay. Nah. I was going to talk about how N sounds were ridiculously hard to Oto, but this one is actually not. Because, but ends have a pitch to them because like you know and i mean there's a pitch there so it is sometimes weird and it's somewhat hard to figure out exactly where the consonant ends mm, stick that there it really doesn't matter as long as the pink is ahead of the red line it doesn't matter but you don't want it like back here because then your consonant will be like right, crazy stretched and stretch continent consonants heh, sound horrible because it's like robotic i can't even make the robotic sound uh let's see let's choose another random sample to oto me uh, that's another see see this is annoying because like i have not much of an idea where the hell the consonant ends. I'm going to guess. Um, I'd like to put it there, but that doesn't seem like it's enough. Um, there also looks nice. I'm going to stick it there, though. That It sort of looks like it goes there. It, 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 it's a lot of guesswork. Honestly, it is. But then if it sounds wrong, then I can just change it. I can tell I recorded this with a really good microphone because it does random things. When there's obviously no sound, it just randomly creates a pitch there. It's like, oh, you did this while recording. Silence. See the straight line? It's silence dumb computer uh let's see who oh this one needs even tougher i don't know if you can see it but there is actually a little spot where you can sort of see that there's sound and i didn't do anything really weird while recording so i'm guessing that's where it starts just gonna drag this until where the pitch gets sort of settled. H's 
are impossible to Oto correctly. Just freaking impossible. Unless you have, like, a bad mic and you're like... <laughs> and that's, like, your H. <sighs> I mean, that, then you can tell where the H is, but... I mean, if you use a pop filter, there's there's no way. Absolutely no way. But it's not going to sound bad if it's wrong. I mean, really, you probably can't even tell that it's wrong. Because, I mean, H's are incredibly short, so it's not like it's not real. It's not really going to knock off your rhythm at all. Um, let's see. Okay, so I have an A that... have that... Da. Huh. Did that actually record? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, um, hmm. That cut off my D sound. We will have to re-record that then. Okay, that works. So, how am I doing on time? Hmm. Okay, let's see. What else do I need to talk about? This is basically it on Otos. Otos are pretty straightforward once you actually know what everything is. It's just a lot of guesswork. We can probably move that pink a little bit more. I mean, really, because especially with consonants, you have no idea what where they are. You just have to guess, and yeah. So that's an Oto. They're really fun. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, I have two new Skype messages. Oh, they added me to something. Look, they added me to a conversation. Okay, I'm recording though, you guys. I'm sorry. Um. So yeah, that's an Oto. I don't think I'm probably going to hit stop and then I'll be like oh wait I forgot this really important thing I don't think I did though I'll talk about um next time USTs and like where to get them and what they are and VSQs and how to use them and midis and vibrato and crossfading and pitch automation and like cool stuff not boring stuff like Oto's of course, I also always have to say, some people like them. Some people are like, I love Otoing, and I just drag it back and forth, and it's so much fun, and I'm just like, oh, dear. <laughs> I don't understand how people like it, but they do. Anyway, so yeah, I'll talk about that next time, and we'll actually make a song. It'll be fun. <laughs>